In this video, we'll walk you through the feedback process that we follow in Kim360. When your designs are ready for review, your project manager will post all of the requested formats and source files to the request card, and then they'll move the card to the in review list where you can provide your feedback. To do so, just click into the card and you'll have two options now. You can simply add a comment using the comment field. This is good for cases like providing additional requirements, responding to your project manager's request for clarification, or providing some general feedback. Or you can use Kemp's custom feedback tool when a graphic or video has been shared with you for your feedback. To open the tool, you'll click onto one of the designs that's marked as not reviewed. And then you'll have three options available to you for each of the designs that you need to review. You need revision, approved, or rejected. When you select need revision for a design, you'll be able to point and click anywhere on the design to explain exactly what you need done. So for instance, I'd like to see some thinner lines and maybe I'd like to change the background color. Now let's navigate over to the next design that needs to be reviewed. This one will approve. And when you approve a design, there's nothing further required. You can just move on to the next. For this design, we'll select rejected. When you select rejected, you're prompted to provide some feedback so that the team knows why you're rejecting a design and what we can avoid going forward. Try to be as detailed as possible here as it'll help us with the workflow going forward. Once you've reviewed all of the designs that have been shared with you and added your relevant comments, you'll be able to publish the changes so that you can share them with your team. And once you've published your changes, you'll see that the feedback that you have left has been divided according to what needs revision, what's been approved and what's been rejected. At this point, you'll be leaving your request card in the in review list for your project manager to have a look at and get your revisions done. We'll switch over to the project manager's view now just so that you can get a behind the scenes look at what happens next. Your project manager will go into the card. They'll have a look at the changes you've requested and if they've understood everything clearly and don't need any further clarification from you, they'll add a revision label to the card and next, they'll move it to the top of the in-progress list to make sure that the changes are done as soon as possible. When a revision request is moved to the in-progress list, the changes requested become a checklist for the project manager, and they have three options for each of the requests that have been made. So they can either mark a request, a revision request as resolved, and this is what they'll do if the revision that's been asked for is possible, and there's no issues with getting that done. So let's try that here. We'll mark that re result. The other two options that a project manager has when considering a revision request is that not all rev revision requests are going to be possible. Some things might make a design look bad or it might just not work within that particular type of design. In those cases, the team will mark the revision request as unresolved and then they'll provide you with an explanation so that you understand why that change can't be done. Now the third option here is substitution. This is where the team understands what it is that you're trying to achieve and though the request that you've asked for isn't possible, there may be something else that they can do. For instance, if the revision request is to change the color to a lighter shade of purple, but that's not going to make the design elements stand out and it might clash with your brand's colors, the team might make a substitution wherein they try a different color. Once they've added in the substitution note, they'll upload that for you so that you have the details on hand in terms of what change was made and why. And then the team will then share with you the source files and output files again for your review. So here I'm just copying and pasting for a quick reference, but a project manager's comments to you will always include links to the source files, and then they'll be attaching the other output file format that you can review and provide your feedback on. So once they've got the updated files attached, they'll hit submit 
and then they'll be moving the card back from in progress to in review. Now let's switch back over to the client view to see what happens next. So as a client, you'll see that your card has come back to the in review list. You'll see that there are a new set of designs that have been added for you to review in the custom feedback tool. And you'll also see that the revision you previously requested has been processed and you'll see the status of each. The first was resolved and the second, as you saw behind the scenes, was uh, substituted. So here's the details of the substitute the, uh, from the initial revision request to the substitution that has been made. And now if we go back up and open up the custom feedback tool, not only will we see the design files that the team has uploaded for this second round of review, we can also use this arrow to go back to the previous set of files that was delivered to you. And you can also see the feedback that you provided at that time. So you'll be able to keep all of your design revision requests organized and be able to view everything um, that you've marked with the custom feedback tool within the tool itself. And of course, you'll be able to scroll through the activity within the card to see what, how the workflow has progressed. Now that's it for our revision workflow. If you have any questions at all, please do reach out on the live chat.